when you make new components you uh, might have uh, an original component that you just want to copy and if you do that you can use the uh, component wizard to do that as well simply open the component wizard and say that you want to make a copy of a component what you need is a, a, an original component and you simply use the browse buttons here to go out and find a component and it could be any component here but I'll just take this one here the first one and when I double click you can see I fetch the EAN number and the type directly from the database, table code, etc. Everything I'll just get it from the database. But I cannot click next because I have now two identical EAN numbers and that's not permitted. So I'll delete this EAN number and give it my own EAN number and as soon as the EAN numbers are different then I get this next button and then I can go to the next and the next and the next and I could type in whatever I wanted to do but in this way I have created my component simply as a copy of an existing one for some components however it might be just as easy to go into the database directly go in here in the component database and now we can take exactly the same component here you can use the database to create components by selecting a component and go in and select the as an edit pencil here. Then you go in and have this window in the database here. And if you want to copy it, it's not enough to click this copy. You need to click the control and copy. Because if you only copy, you copy the AN number, then you could copy the stock number and the order number, the type, etc. But if you click control and copy then you uh, copy the whole record here and then you can control and paste and then you have created a full copy of this component and again you don't have an ID number here because it's not been posted yet and uh, you can post it now but then you would create two identical EAN numbers and that would not be very smart so instead you go in and uh, give it a new EAN number and when you're happy with this you might also edit it a little bit but then uh, when you're happy simply click post it and uh, it will be posted in the database and um, when it's here uh, we we'll just have to wait my database might be a little away when it's here I can click on the close button and then you see now it had a new number and uh, when it's finished I can click the close and that's it so now I have uh, two more components in my database so two different ways of making a, a copy of a component either by using this uh, component wizard or by simply uh, control copying in the component database directly